Hello everyone! Today we'll learn how to create a metallic logo intro in After Effects. I'll also cover how to achieve different metallic looks with some pro techniques. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so we are in After Effects. Let's create a new composition. You can see the composition settings on the screen. Next, I select the text tool to write something. You can use your logo if you want. For reference, I am using this font. Now I pre-compose this layer and name it Logo. Next, I add a texture image, which you can download from the link in the description below. After that, I add it to the timeline and pre-compose this layer as well, naming it Texture. If you can't find the matte options, click the toggle button. Then change its matte to logo. Next, import another image. It's a reflection image. Add it to the timeline. Then go to transform and select the fit to comp option so it perfectly fits the composition. Pre-compose this layer as well and name it Reflection Map. Then change its matte to Logo. Go to this composition and search for an effect called Motion Tile. Apply it to this layer and let's check the settings. First, change the output width to 200. Then click on the Mirror Edge option. Now. Change the X value of the tile center to make it move seamlessly. To do this, first add a keyframe on the tile center. Then move the time indicator and change the value to 500. Let's see the preview. It looks a little slow, so I change the X value to around 200. This will slightly increase the moving speed. After that, search for the Gaussian Blur effect and apply it to this layer. Change the blurriness value to 30. Go back to the main composition and search for an effect called CC Glass. Apply it to the reflection layer and let's check its settings. Under Surface, first change the bump map to Logo. Then Change softness to 15. Set height to 50. Change displacement to minus 500. Now our text is already looking metallic. Next, change the reflection layer's blending mode to hard light. Duplicate this layer and change its blending mode to screen. This will make the logo shine. Select all layers and pre-compose them, naming it Final. Then go to Effect, Perspective and select Bevel Alpha and change the edge thickness to 7. This effect gives our logo a nice depth feel. Now add a new adjustment layer. Then search for an effect called Noise. Apply it to this layer and change the noise value to 10. This adds nice small details and makes the logo look natural. You can increase the value if you want. Next, add a new solid layer. This will be our background. Place it below the other layers. Search for an effect called Gradient Ramp and apply it to the background layer. Click on Swap Colors and change the white color to cyan. For accuracy, use this color code shown on the screen. Then, change the ramp linear to radial ramp and adjust the position of the color points. Next, import a background image and add it to the timeline above the background layer. Change its blending mode to linear burn to achieve this look. Then, go to Layer Styles 
and choose Drop Shadow. Open the Drop Shadow settings. Change the distance to around 25 and size to around 10 to create a realistic shadow. Let's see the preview. That's looking good. Now, let me show you how to change the metal color. First, go to the reflection composition and search for an effect called Colorize Sepia. Apply it to this layer. Then move the motion tile effect below all other effects. Go back to the main composition and see how it looks. Now, it looks like gold and gives a luxurious feel. After that, I add a new solid layer with a black color and I animate its opacity values to create a fade in and fade out effect. And that's how you can create a metallic logo intro in After Effects. If you enjoyed this video and want to support the channel, consider buying me a coffee. Your support makes a big difference and helps me keep creating awesome content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.